All right, I'm going to show you how I care for my hair under my wigs. I uh, use the same method to care for my hair, whether it's a U-part wig with my hair left out like this one, or it's uh, one of my wigs with a closure. Um, basically, the only difference is with the closure wig, all of my hair is braided, so I'm doing the same thing to all of my hair versus doing something different to the hair that's left out. So let's get started. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what it's looking like under here. There's the wig, so I'm paying attention to everything I do to my hair now. Uh, so I've been putting a nylon wig cap on underneath my so wig. So this is it. I'm going to take this off so you guys can see what's going on under here. This is the cap. Just a cheap wig so cap. this is it. This is my leave out. And as I showed you guys in my takedown video, I twist the sides of my hair while I'm in a wig. So, now I'm going to show you guys how I care for my hair under my wig. This is the first thing that I do. And I take my leave out. You guys have probably, I'm sure, already seen me do this in my other videos. But the moisturizer I'm using right now, this is just a concoction that I made up myself. Alright, so I want to show you guys what's in this moisturizer that I use. It's just something I, I just kind of mixed a bunch of stuff together and it's been working out great. So, uh, I mixed either some she scented, what is this, green grape leave-in, or moisture mist, sorry. Or I'll mix in some of the green grape leave-in, which is this one. And I love these, these are so good. Um, I mix a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil. This is my favorite. I mix, what is this, six in one. Uh, it's a moisturizing lotion and it's supposed to do six things in one. Moisturizer, sheen, detangler, conditioner, curl activator, and wave revitalizer. It's no drip, it's not greasy, it's actually really thick. It's kind of creamy, but this has water, glycerin, uh, it has some other stuff in here, but I'm just going to point out the good stuff. Uh, protein, lanolin, aloe vera gel, panthenol, jojoba oil, vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin D. Good stuff. It's not paraben free, so if you guys only use paraben free stuff, this isn't for you. But this stuff works great for me. It has some really good ingredients in it. Um, and I also just recently started using a little bit of Kinky Curly Not Today which has some really good ingredients in it also. So I use a little bit of this. And I also use just a little, yeah, that says poison. Don't let it scare you. Just don't drink it. <laughs> I use a little bit of eucalyptus oil. And when I say a little bit, I mean like in this whole bottle, I use like two capsules, which still might be a lot. Um, yeah, and that's it for my moisturizer. Oh, I use aloe vera juice. I also mix in some aloe vera juice, not the gel, the actual juice that you have to refrigerate after opening. Uh, and I mix it all in here. Let me see, it's creamy. And that's it, that's my moisturizer. And this stuff works really well. So what I do, I don't do anything special, I just squirt it on. Squirt a little on here. And a little, y'all I can't see, I'm sorry, trying to do this in the camera. But that's it, I take it and I just run my fingers through my hair. I don't use a comb or anything anymore or brush like I did in the past because I'm really trying not to manipulate my hair so much. So I do that with this section. So after I do this, I have my whipped shea butter mixture and basically this has raw shea butter uh, I threw in some olive oil some coconut oil I think maybe some grapeseed or hemp seed oil just a bunch of different stuff and I whipped it up with a hand mixer and that's it scooped it in there they take just a little bit and dab it on my roots and I mean just a little and I mainly concentrate getting the majority of it on my ends And I do the same thing, smooth it on with my hands. And then I 
do my bantu knot. I don't need to comb it at all. No combing necessary. That's it. Now for moisturizing my braids. I only moisturize my braids now. Um, well, basically what I do is when I braid my hair up, um, and this is actually a method that I got from Chikoro, which I, it works so well. This stuff, I didn't think it would work. It works. So what I do is after I wash my hair, uh, I let it dry. I actually let it air dry in my like four braids or six braids. And when I'm ready to braid it, I'll start sectioning it to braid. And then I wet it with, I just actually take some water in a spray bottle, some distilled water and a little bit of my eucalyptus oil, just a little bit. And that's what I use to wet each section. So I'll section off what I'm gonna braid, pin everything else away, wet it with the spray bottle with water and eucalyptus oil. And then I'm applying my She Sent It Banana Brulee, which is my one of my two favorite moisturizing deep conditioners. I'll either use this one. Well, this is one I use when I braid. My other one is Jessie Curl Weekly Deep Treatment, which is also the bomb. So I'm using this one. I apply it liberally on my hair, let it sit for just a second. Then I take my shea butter and apply the shea butter just like I did to my leave out. And then I braid. And while I'm braiding, I'm smoothing my hair with my fingers so that it's not knotted or tangled. And that's how I do each and every section that I've braided. I found that when I do this, I don't have the need to moisturize my hair for at least a week, week and a half. So after that initial time after braiding my hair, a week and a half has gone by, I take my same moisturizer that I use for my leave out. I have this tendency to shake it up every time. I just don't trust ingredients to be mixed. 24-7, so I shake it up a little bit. And what I do, even with my hair that's twisted on the side, I just dab it on and rub it in. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is how I do it. And I make sure I get my roots a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want product buildup on my scalp. And I also make sure I put a little extra here and then just bring it down with my hands. So I'm doing that on each and every section. The braids as well. The braids, I'll oh, see. Same thing. I don't overdo it. I just put just enough. And then just kind of rub it in. And this is creamy, so it kind of sits on your hair. It doesn't drip, as you can see. So I do that to all of my sections. I make sure when I'm at the ends, let me show you guys. This is all braided up. Normally, I don't have these braids dangling in the back. I just have one braid. So this is different. This is not my usual braid pattern. See, this is just doing too much under a wig for me. Um, I make sure when I'm doing each of these braids, I do the same thing. I wet the braid with the moisturizer, and I kind of just go down with the moisturizer if I need to. And I make sure I get my ends really good. So I do that with each and every braid on my hair, the sections on the sides. When I'm done moisturizing, same thing. Now, sometimes I'll use Jamaican black castor oil. Bam. Sometimes I use my shea butter. It depends on how I'm feeling that day and what I have within reach. But for now, I'm going to show you guys using my shea butter. But I just do the same thing. I'll dab it on. This is my method of sealing. I don't know how other people do it, this is just how I do it. And I just rub it in. That's it, same thing with all the braids. And I, you know, go down the braid with the shea butter, make sure I get the ends really good. And that's it, that's how I moisturize and seal my hair under my wigs and how I care for my leave out. Now, I also use a growth aid. This part, I only use my growth aid, which is in this bottle. I only use it every other day, and I apply it in the mornings before I put my wig on. If I apply it at night, I have issues. It leaks, it gets all on my pillow, it started to get on my face and dry my skin out, so that wasn't working for me. So I'm doing it every other day, and 
basically what I have in this bottle is what I have in this bottle you guys see it it's creamy first thing I have is four ounces of Megatech four ounces this is an eight ounce bottle you guys so I fill it up halfway with Megatech number two I toss in two ounces of Jamaican black castor oil then whoa, I throw in maybe an ounce uh, emu oil I don't use any special brand of emu oil this is one brand I use I mean this is another brand I use I use whatever but I make sure that it's like not process I don't know not processed emu oil you know you don't want anything that looks like um clear basically this is the color that emu oil is and it's really thick see how thick that is so yeah throw in the emu oil throw in a little bit of eucalyptus oil and that's about half an ounce to an ounce and then I'll throw in a teaspoon of sublime sulfur so I fill this up and I shake it up really good so I take this and what I'm doing twice or not every other day in the mornings and it goes really quickly I have my little part here and I dab it on my scalp rub it in and I follow my parts that's all I do I just follow my parts And I make sure to rub it in. I also I have these little issues that are in my around my edges, so I make sure to get it on my edges. And you know, when I do my braids, I make sure I go along the parts where my braids are and rub it in. And that's it. I apply it all over. It doesn't require anything else. I just make sure I diligently moisturize after that initial period when I put the deep conditioner in my hair and braid it and it's time for me to start moisturizing again. I add my moisturizer and seal every day in the evenings when I get home from work or sometimes I'll do it every other day. I just I basically kind of do it as needed but with the sulfur and the Megatech it can kind of it can kind of cause dryness in some people. I noticed it started to cause dryness for me, especially on my face. So that's when I started cutting down to once every other day. And yeah, that's it. That's what I do to care for my hair under my wigs. I've been doing the growth aid and the moisturizing since January. And I'm going to show you guys a picture of what my edges look like before I started using this stuff. And this is what they are now. I had nothing right here, you guys. Nothing. And I mean, I don't have a lot now. But check this out. I have something. <laughs> like, my edges are really... Especially in my cowlick areas. There's hair here now. Like, this is crazy. You can see these little... I'm going to pinch them for you. This lets me know that it's actually filling in because this is an area where there was nothing, nothing. And I mean, I have edges now, they're filling in. This is crazy. Hairline's filling in. So yeah, this stuff for me, it's actually working. Now, I don't know how much growth I'm getting throughout my head because I mean, I haven't straightened my hair in a while, but I'm gonna find that out at the end of this year. My goal is to get from scraping bra strap length, which I was before, and then my M's were all jacked up. I want to be full mid-back length by December 31st, 2011. That means no scraggly ends. I'm going to trim them off at that point in time. So that's it. That's all I'm caring for my hair under my wigs. And yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know.